a shared vision. It is during our very earliest years, including pre-birth, that much of the pattern for our future adult life is set. The early years is therefore a time of opportunity to shape a Scotland of the future, which is wealthier and fairer, healthier, safer and stronger, smarter and greener. The vision is for a Scotland where every child matters, a Scotland where every child is given the very best start in life and where all children experience support enabling them to reach their full potential. It is therefore essential that babies and very young children are loved, secure, healthy, nurtured and cared for. They also need opportunities to play, develop and learn in a safe environment. This will help them to develop self-esteem, confidence, empathy, resilience and independence, essential attributes needed if they are to experience a positive childhood and play a purposeful role in society. As staff working with and for Scotland's youngest children, we must recognise the impact and importance our work has now and indeed for the rest of children's lives. We need to be confident that we are providing the best experiences for babies and children. We need to know why it is essential that we get it right for every child. Pre-birth to three, positive outcomes for Scotland's children and families sets out to provide guidance and support for all adults working with and for our youngest children and their families. It is intended that this DVD, the guidance document and the CD will stimulate and generate professional discussion and debate, leading to the highest quality provision for all babies and children in their very earliest years. The guidance and support materials are all available on the Early Years Learning and Teaching Scotland website. Pre-birth to three, positive outcomes for Scotland's children and families, seeks to develop a strategic and practical approach to prevention and early intervention. It is based on the shared national principles and priorities which have been created to tackle the significant inequalities in Scottish society. These are highlighted in the suite of interrelated and interdependent policy frameworks, the Early Years Framework, Equally Well and Achieving Our Potential which aim to build the capacity of individuals, families and communities to secure the best outcomes for themselves. Prevention and Early Intervention The Early Years Framework tells us the period between pregnancy and three years is increasingly seen as a critical period in shaping children's life chances based on evidence of brain formation, communication and language development and the impact of relationships formed during this period on mental health. It is therefore also a critical opportunity to intervene and break cycles of poor outcomes for children. It is important to recognise that everyone working with Scotland's children and families enable positive transformational change. We need to develop a joined up approach to prevention and early intervention. There is a strong recognition that staff across agencies must work in partnership to move from intervening when a crisis happens towards prevention, building resilience and providing the right level of support before problems arise. Early intervention is paramount and early intervention to us in the true sense is working with the mother when she's still pregnant and we would work very closely with our colleagues in health and social work to ensure that we give the best support we can to the parent at that stage. We will always put people first, we'll make time for them, we'll always make a non-threatening environment for them to come and speak to us. People who do attend, um, children who are attending the nursery, those families we work very closely with, we're chatting to them every day as they're coming in, coming out. People are just happy to come and chat to their key workers or myself or Steve, the head of the centre. Um, even our clerical staff spend lots of time chatting to people. They can sometimes pick up wee things and just come and say, I think they need a wee bit of support there. And then we would automatically bring in our family support worker. We don't have any criteria for meeting up with him. We will just if we feel there's anything, be it they need extra time to attend a funeral, they need extra time to go to a baby clinic or they don't have family support in the area, we'll give them support and try and make arrangements for their children to alleviate that wee bit of stress before it becomes bigger and becomes something that it might not need to be. 
equality, inclusion and diversity. Scottish society is rich in diversity, culture and heritage. With a society made up of unique individuals, staff working with our youngest children must recognise and take forward inclusive approaches to cater for individual needs, so that every child can flourish. Adults working with children and families must consider the impact of socio-economic status, race, gender, disability, religion and vulnerable groups such as looked after children and children with additional support needs, all of which may impact on life chances. The Additional Support for Learning Act is a key piece of legislation in Scotland. It sets out to achieve a more inclusive society and to give all children the access to learning opportunities they need in order to maximise their potential. The term additional support needs refers to any child or young person who, for whatever reason, requires additional support. All staff require to be well informed about this act. Additional support needs can arise from a range of factors which cause a barrier to learning. These fall broadly into four overlapping themes. Learning environment, family circumstances, disability or health need, social and emotional factors. Local authorities must act when a child has been identified with having an additional need. An additional need can be a temporary measure or one with more permanent and long-term outcomes. And therefore, some children may have uh, an additional need that's identified but once that need has been addressed and the child in a sense has graduated from that need then they are th that need the, the requirement for an additional need uh, intervention would cease an example would maybe be children with glue ear that may have a temporary condition interventions such as grommets or other such measures are taken that problem has alleviated the child has no long-term difficulties and therefore they proceed and develop as, as normal. Um, where other times children may have a more significant difficulty and those are addressed by the Act. The Act also stresses the importance of multi-agency working. It stresses the importance of lead professionals and it stresses the importance that not only the parents should be consulted but where appropriate the children as well. Some additional support needs will be long term while others will be short term and the effects they have will vary from child to child. In all cases it is how these factors impact on the individual child's learning and development that will determine the nature and level of support required. Early intervention which is appropriate, proportionate and timely, is key to ensuring that the child and family have support to enable the child to maximise their potential. We know that, in Scotland, substantial numbers of children from vulnerable groups and disadvantaged circumstances still do not develop the necessary skills to reach their full potential. Taking forward an inclusive approach An inclusive approach is essential within the provision of high quality care and education for young children and their families. All staff working with and for children must focus on improving outcomes for children and their families by recognising different needs and celebrating and embracing Scotland's rich cultural diversity. Creating environments which are culturally sensitive, accessible and inclusive. Engaging in regular and appropriate high-quality continuing professional development opportunities. Building solutions around children. Working together to make meaningful change. Working towards a shared understanding of well-being leading to improved outcomes for children and families. All work with children and for children should be underpinned by getting it right for every child, sometimes referred to as getting it right. Getting it right for every child. Getting it right for every child is a national approach to supporting and working with all children in Scotland to improve well-being and life chances.
It is the responsibility of every citizen in Scotland to support children to grow up as healthy and as happy as possible and to thrive. Getting it right is the methodology which takes forward the vision, values and principles which are embedded in the early years framework, equally well and achieving our potential. These frameworks support agencies to work together to ensure the best outcomes for every child, whatever their background or individual needs. Getting it right is instrumental in supporting adults working with children to take forward the key principles of pre-birth to three and the values, purposes and principles of Scotland's curriculum, Curriculum for Excellence. More information can be found at the Scottish Government and Learning and Teaching Scotland websites. The well-being of children and young people is at the heart of getting it right and can be illustrated by the Getting It Right for Every Child Wellbeing Wheel. Pre-birth to three guidance. The pre-birth to three guidance is based on the four key principles, the rights of the child, relationships, responsive care and respect. In your own context, each of these four key principles are interrelated and interdependent. How they are interpreted in practice is a question for staff teams, children and families. Within pre-birth to three, Positive outcomes for Scotland's children and families, nine features of practice have been identified to enable more focused reflection on implementing the four key principles. These nine features include Role of staff Attachments Transitions Observation assessment and planning Partnership working Health and well-being Literacy and numeracy, environments and play. One of the things that we did to, to, to was create a narrative about um, what we mean by early years and the connection to point of impact and violence. And we looked at a young man at 15 and a half who'd, who committed a murder. And we looked at his life from the day he was born. And, and we chose him only because we had some CCTV footage of, of the murder happening, not because we thought he was really bad. But when we looked at him, we found that um, before he was 15, he'd moved house, I think, 11 times. His mum had had to move house four of those times because of uh, domestic abuse. His mum was an alcoholic. Um, the areas he lived in were some of the most deprived areas in, in, in Scotland and, and indeed the UK. Um, he had no supportive family around him at all. He had a, 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 an extended family that was wholly worthless when he had uncles who had previous convictions for violence and a whole range of things. And when he was a baby, that was obvious. When he was a toddler, it was obvious. But the radar wasn't smart enough to pick him up. When he was needing our help and couldn't ask for it, he didn't get it. And then when he started as an adolescent to annoy us, then we paid attention. And we stopped trying to protect a child and started wanting to punish an adult. And that's where we are in Scotland sometimes with a punitive notion that criminal justice will fix this. And you just have to look all around you in newspapers every day of the week and they're talking about we need to punish these young people more and they'll stop doing it. No, they won't because they don't know any better. Their sin is ignorance. And it's our responsibility that, you know, to, to, to banish the ignorance. The technical solution for ignorance is education. The social solution is relationships so that these young people understand when they're babies, we can pick up on that. That we can say, we might only have you in our, our day centre, our nursery, our primary school for seven hours a day, five days a week. But while you're with us, you'll get consistent, good relationships demonstrated to you. We will link in with other people around in this community to support you even when you're not here. We will, make the, we will do the best that we can for you. Because we, it's not about... It's not about taking kids out of that environment and putting them into another environment that we think is, is going to be better and might not be. It's about saying, we'll support you and your mum and dad or your mum or your dad or your gran, whoever's looking after you to be as good as they can be. And that's what services need to be in Scotland for the 21st century. That's getting it right for every child.